Hey guys, welcome to my studio. I am going to show you some lefty lettering with alignment and angles. But first I want to show you a little view of where the setup is here. So I'm going to be sitting here. This cut mat is sitting just so. The camera is going to go right overhead. So you have a pretty straight on view. Okay, hold on. Okay, first thing I want to talk to you about is the orientation of my paper. This illustration shows you my chair, this gray cut mat that you see in front of me, and this piece of paper. So this is how I'm sitting right now. When I start writing, what I'm going to do is turn my paper 45 degrees because that's what works best for me, but I also turn my chair 45 degrees. So essentially I'm sitting like this, just turned. That's what's most comfortable for me. Um, I think you're gonna see the same, that you're going to have to play around with the angles to see what works best um, with your grip and how you hold the pen. I'm gonna move this piece of paper, but just so you know, um, the resources like this guide sheet, I have free blank guide sheets available um, and some basic drills available by going here. I'm going to put these links down in the description. Okay, let's talk about how we hold the pen and how we write as left-handed people. There are three ways, um, basically, that people do this. There are side writers like me that when you're writing, you're coming at your writing from the side, like this. There are over writers that do something like this while they're holding the pen. And then there's under writers who come at their writing kind of from below the baseline, like this. So you need to first identify where you're at in that spectrum and not plan to change. The next quick thing is how you hold the pen. So I guess the accepted way to hold a pen is with three fingers, it's what's known as this tripod grip. And that's what they teach right-handed people to do um, and left-handed people as well. What they teach you to do in school is hold it with three fingers. Do you do that? Not everybody does. So I don't, I hold the pen like this. I hold the pen at this angle and exactly like this. It's almost straight up and down. The angle is kind of tipped away from me. That's how I hold it. You may hold the pen like with some sort of a wrap grip, wrap around. You may wrap your thumb around like this. Um, any variation of this. That's all fine. We're gonna try to not change your grip too much because we're essentially still using the same kind of writing instrument that you use every day when you pick up a ballpoint pen. For this video, I'm gonna to try to stick to this tripod grip whenever possible, um, just to demonstrate because that's what is taught and how we're supposed to, whatever that means. Um, I will also revert to this, which is my grip. So it's whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I'm gonna try to demonstrate a couple different ways to help you. Okay, we're gonna talk about overwriters. Overwriters are lefties that kind of hook their grip over as they're writing. So it's a hook grip or an overwriter grip. Now, when I'm talking about overwriters, underwriters, and side writers, I want you to keep in mind we all have the same goal, and that is to successfully make these thin and thick lines with this type of brush pen or whatever type of brush pen that you're using. The ultimate goal is the same, to be able to mimic these lines. I think the best way to do that is to download a guide like this, I have a free one, um, and use trace paper or vellum paper over it and work out your angle that allows this pen to make that mark. So whether you're sitting like me, and I'm on a straight angle, or if you're an overwriter and it's hooked, and you turn it 
to successfully make these thin strokes and thick strokes, that is your ultimate goal, is to find the angle that works for you. If I were an overwriter and I really wrote like this, this would be my angle, but it might be different for you. You might need to turn it more. You might actually find it better to turn it completely the other way. I don't know because I'm not writing for you. So I can't give you the exact angle that's right for you, but I think the best way to do it is to get trace paper, get these guides, and find the angle where you're able to make not only the thin line upward, but the transition over into a thick line like that. Because we need to find a way to make that mark. You can't twist your hand around to do it. You have to leave it in what's your natural grip. So overwriters, again, it's hooked over. Find the angle. Probably best to find an angle that mimics something like that position. And then try to make the mark. Pull down and release and see how successful you are with making that mark. And if it's not right, adjust. Adjust your trace paper and adjust your hand, adjust your angle, and see where you're at to be able to make that mark. So that's overwriters. Okay, underwriters. Underwriters will hold the pen and when they're writing, if they're writing along this line, they've got the pen up underneath and they're pushing upward this way. So, so they're pushing and if you leave the pen at exactly this angle and you try to make that mark, you are gonna be able to make the thin stroke no problem, but then that thick stroke is gonna come out like that. That's not what we want. You want it on the angle, you wanna be able to pull it down. So for, in order for an underwriter to accomplish these kind of marks, what they're gonna to have to do is turn the paper. So I'm coming from below, I've turned the paper, almost so this writing is coming towards me now. This may not be comfortable for everyone, you're not used to it, give it a try because I think you'll find that coming from underneath and making the line go up this way and making your downstrokes go that way just kind of makes sense with your paper turned. And maybe for me, if I were an underwriter, this would be a little bit too severe of an angle because I'm having a hard time coming up and back around. Again, I'm not an underwriter, but I'm just demonstrating where you might be coming from as an underwriter. That's a little better. Okay, now for the side writers, my people. All right, remember, I'm sitting like this. I have the paper turned, my chair is turned, the paper's turned, this cut mat is straight, you're straight, everything is on an angle to you looking at me. So, side writers, I leave it like this at an angle. I'm essentially sitting straight on to my paper. I find that because I'm coming at it this way, this angle works best for me. And the funny thing is I'm trying to demonstrate, remember using this tripod grip, which I don't use, but even with the side riders, I'm gonna to try to demonstrate using this grip. Side riders are the ones that really have the issue with smearing their work. So you have two choices. Um, they sell a little table that I've seen. Someone sent me a link one time for a little table that you can rest your hand up high. I think that that's asking a little bit too much. Your other um, option is to wait. Um, wait until the ink is dry before moving ahead. Oop, I went back to my regular grip. So this is the angle that works for me. I'm able to make these marks with no problem at this exact angle because the way I hold the pen matches up to this line and when I'm pulling down I'm able to do so and make these marks 
and even have them successfully sit on this 52 to 55 degree angle. Um, we don't have to write this way on an angle. That's what's comfortable for me. That's how my writing is coming out. So I hope this is making sense for you. There's no one way to tell a lefty how to hold the brush pen because the angle of the pen to the paper your pref in your preferred grip changes from person to person. Um, I've, as you've seen, my angle tends to be slightly away from me, but directly in line with this 52 to 55 degree angle. That's my natural grip. It wasn't always this way. I'm sure that I've made some slight adjustments in order to um, accommodate this exact angle, this exact grip. What works for me is not going to work for you. You're gonna to have to play around with your paper angle, your chair angle, and um, the types of pens that you like to use.